Uh, this error is because uh, the container does not find any uh, package.json inside the dash app and the dash app is mount, uh, is mapped to the current directory so inside the current directory we do not have package.json so to fix this you need to add the package.json inside the current directory so inside the current directory we do not have anything we do not have uh, package reason do not have any .js file so we need to create one file one package uh, .json one uh, server.js etc so let's use visual studio code uh, it is very good for uh, writing node.js application so you create a new uh, project by typing node package manager or npm init the node package manager initialize dash e mean yes the reply yes for any uh, package so copy this line paste it here to initialize a node.js in macOS you need to install node by per install node but in Windows you go to Google search for node.js Windows download you download the executable to find press next 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 and everything is okay yes very easy to install Node.js in Windows we do not recommend it here so you check for the Node Practice Manager at this time is 8.5.2 and create a new project by npm init that's uh, why that's why we type a yes for any uh, package okay so my package.json here has a main file the main uh, the, the version, the, the application name, etc. You can create a new file name server.js. So let's create a new a new blank JavaScript file server.js. Move this inside the Node.js application. Press yes and write your code here. You can use uh, multiple uh, library. We can install library by using uh, yarn add to install package inside uh, this application or this pipe uh, project. It will add the uh, package inside the package name and package version inside the package documentation and download it from GitHub. Install to the local project. So copy this line, paste here, yarn add, okay, yarn not instant because you can instant yarn by npm instant global. Dash g mean instant from global. Yarn, okay. So uh, we, we it recommend me to update the node package manager to 8.5.0 for okay it's no problem so copy this and paste again okay so now mark os in the uh, node.js in mark can search for the library pool the library to uh, current project and add the name of the library to package.json okay so we have two uh, library or two package has been added so inside the server.js, you can write your Node.js code. And firstly, we import two packages and uh, assign it to two constant variable, running and mobs. These library are required when you want to create uh, mob data, not the uh, real time uh, database, not real database. So we start the server by running dot server. Uh, we also have another library. Uh, it is very good. Here is express.js. Uh, very good. We also have nest.js. I will uh, introduce you about this in some uh, other videos, some other tutorials. 
so we define the router. The router here is the root router, and we start the server. The, when the server is started, it will uh, listen to uh, re listen to the port, uh, listen request from the port. So the default part is eight thousand. Eight thousand is the default part uh, for this Node.js application. Okay, so uh, when the user send, or when the client send request post to the server, then the request can be sent by using Postman, Postwoman, etc. Or simplify, we can send using CURL. CURL is very good. It's very simple. You can send by open terminal and uh, type C URL dash dash uh, request uh, post and the URL the header and data data uh, like JSON with key and value as yeah, so the content type is uh, application JSON and the data now here is JSON for example name is one okay is my name and uh, other property mean content content maybe how are you so this is a request. So now open terminal. So let's start by typing node server.js. Uh, everything you do here is in Mac OS, not relating to the container now, not relating to the container. So we uh, so print out to the screen to the console by typing console log. Server is listening on port. Yes. So Ronin is a very small server. You can also use Express, you can also use NetJS. NetJS is written in uh, TypeScript. Okay. A part here is a constant. So now run again. Okay, server is listening on port and the server is waiting the request from client. And you can open a new windows, a new tab, then copy this command, copy and paste here. Okay, so success. Okay, success. Very good. Uh, it will send to the server, and the server will receive and uh, output the log. Yes. It's very good with Ronin. You can also try with Express and also try with NetJS. So see here again and press here. You can see that the log or the history request is displayed. Okay, so now open see uh, URL. Okay, test. Send again and this is a request. A GET request, yes, you, you can set a, a GET request by uh, using CURL, the default option is GET request, okay, and you can see the output, the output like here. Uh, you can use node mom, node mom is node monitor, node monitor is very good, you will want to uh, update code and you see immediately the output. Uh, you can see the output real time. You write your code, you save your code, and you see the output instantly. So let's stop the application and npm install dash g. G mean global. Global mean you can access this library anywhere in your Mac OS. So run. Okay. So press node server.js. You can we also install Watchman by typing npm install uh, Watchman Watchman and node mom to uh, perfect. So node mom does double uh, dash watch server.js. Yeah, something wrong with my code. Let's modify a little bit. 
So change this to server.js and run again. Okay, oh, very good. Uh, the program is starting and waiting for request from Brian. And now we clear. So uh, now we change this to server.js. Okay, so run again. Now try to uh, modify your code by console log. Uh, add a, a strict ha ha ha. Okay, okay. Then you see ha ha display output. Yes. Okay, quite good. So it is listening on eight thousand. Uh, we can add more script for uh, for simplify the deployments. So we name this run dev. So run dev here may be uh, yarn install. So copy this line. Yes, uh, run dev. Yes, copy this line. And let's try to use the script by yarn run uh, semicolon dev. Okay, yeah. It is the same as you type the wrong uh, code, but it's very useful when you have multiple uh, script inside the package of JSON. And you can also write yarn install and to pre install to pre update on every package. Yes, run the dev. Oh, very good. You can download every update package and run. Yes, let's modify a little bit. So copy this, uh, copy this code line to uh, start uh, the the container again, the Node.js container again. Yes, so copy. So what about the uh, environment variable? The the environment variable can be read inside. Uh, server.js you, you can read this variable and use uh, for your purpose you map the, the, the current directory to the code and you can write save your code and see the output and the container is also updated I guess you can change port to uh, 8002 so let's copy and run is the next lesson